Eileen, I think we both agree that the vast majority of patients with pancreatic cancer are diagnosed later on in the disease. A, how do we define curative treatment for this patient population? So that's a good question. And the way we would think about it is that patients who are able to undergo an operation where there's the ability to completely remove the, the cancer and there's no evidence of spread anywhere else at the time of surgery, uh, that person has undergone a potentially curative operation. And typically we would say that surgery alone uh, is not sufficient to mm -hmm. maximize the outcomes uh, even after a successful operation. And for those patients, we would routinely recommend what's called adjuvant treatment. And that's treatment, uh, usually chemotherapy, sometimes radiation too, uh, designed to maximize the suppression of any microscopic cells that could have escaped uh, anywhere else and to reduce the risk of recurrence of the cancer. And again, going back to our discussion about the multidisciplinary approach, so the involvement of surgery, the involvement of chemotherapy, and for selected people, radiation uh, augments uh, the chances collectively of the cancer not coming back.